I'll admit that one of the holes in my computing or just tech experience is Chromebooks. Despite having tried a couple out before, I've never actually used one on the daily, but they have been evolving steadily due to some key factors. Number one, the continued support from companies like Acer, who have been supporting Chrome OS with proper hardware that are useful for multiple scenarios. And perhaps even more importantly, the spec makers over at MediaTek who have been supplying the power that is needed for those scenarios. Those examples are obviously very specific because in this video, sponsored by MediaTek, I was invited to use an Acer Chromebook to experience one of the most powerful processors put into one yet. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here are my thoughts on the Acer Chromebook Spin 513, powered by the MediaTek Compendio 1380. So one of the contexts behind my time trying out this Chromebook Spin 513 is how it might fare in a back-to-school scenario. With the school year upon many of you and maybe your children, it's time to think about the kinds of tech that will best suit the classroom, the dorm room, the cafe, and perhaps everywhere in between. And if there's one thing I know about Chromebooks, they bring a lot of functionality in particularly affordable packages. This latest iteration of the Chromebook Spin 513 might be the most premium of the bunch. First off, it's called a spin, so you can imagine what that means. The screen, which does open easily with one hand as you saw me do just a second ago, can rotate all the way around to create a tablet of sorts. This can be used with like a stylus pen which this display is compatible with or if you're looking to just kick back and enjoy some media you can flex the display to just the right angle or just hold it while lying in bed by the way don't worry this video won't be just all about the work i'll show you why the companio 1380 processor in here has been a pleasant surprise for some let's say extracurriculars. But for now, we're on this display, and it is a good one. From what I gather, Acer have been putting good displays on their many Chromebooks, but in this one, this update to the Spin 513, they've provided even more real estate via a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, which makes this 13.5 inch size feel bigger than the body might initially seem. Now, I've had no complaints whatsoever with viewing or watching anything on here, as the resolution is just over Quad HD numbers. And the thing is, the Chromebook Spin 513 doesn't have to rely on just its built-in display. The USB-C ports on the sides can do a display output to 4K monitors, which is possible because of the graphics performance of the Companio 1380. So you can actually use this Spin 513 as a bit of a desk setup to blow up to bigger screens or to just make working a little bit more comfortable. Now, I mentioned the USB-C ports, and there are two of them, one on either side of the laptop. The rest of the I.O. provides the essentials, including even one USB-A port, a micro SD card reader, and a headphone jack, which definitely came in handy because if there is one part about this Chromebook I may not be the biggest fan of, it's the speakers. They are bottom firing speakers, which is ultimately fine, it's just that I found them pretty thin in terms of the sound profile. So I found myself either using the headphone jack or the included Bluetooth 5 connectivity to get my audio fix. Again, the Companio 1380 is doing its thing supporting not just the hardware I.O., but also the wireless connectivity with the Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 6. That connectivity should work pretty well for like remote learning, as there is a 720p webcam on here that you're seeing the output from, so you can see the camera is actually pretty decent, and the microphone array that is on the laptop should be good for those video or even voice calls. So all of the hardware and the tools that you need for a good productivity setup is here. I literally wrote the script on this video using the Spin 513, and typing on this keyboard has been very comfortable. Before I did my Amazon live stream about this laptop, uh, I actually spent hours trying to achieve Inbox Zero, so there was a lot of typing, a few contracts and NDAs that needed signing, and I was able to do that with the touchscreen, and I got it down to at least single digits in my Gmail app. Speaking of apps, obviously that's where you're going to live the most in the Chrome OS interface of a Chromebook. You might know that Chromebooks basically live in the cloud, and for the most part that's true, because the Spin 513 comes with 128 gigabytes of onboard storage. The thing is, if you're using this laptop for just your work or school activities, you're likely to be connected to Wi-Fi most of the time anyway. But when you're not, all of the Google Office applications are still accessible, and you can do work offline easily before you sync it back up to the cloud once you get connected again. But you can go beyond all of that and jump into the Play Store, where all of the apps that you probably enjoy on your Android phone are available for the laptop environment as well. Some applications will render in a window like it's in portrait orientation, and others will just scale accordingly to the Chromebook screen, but I haven't really run into any situation where I felt like I was truly missing out. It might be a little bit reductive to call this Android multitasking on steroids, but I actually think that's a great positive way of describing how you can actually use Chrome OS and a Chromebook for most of your tasks. And that's why the MediaTek Companio 1380 is such a big deal. 
The 6 nanometer octa-core chip is the most powerful ARM architecture that has been provided in a Chromebook and the performance is definitely felt. You may have had assumptions before about whether or not a laptop at this price or with this kind of operating system can handle really heavy workloads, but you might be surprised at just how speedy and how effectively you can jump from work to media to play and back to work again with such ease. Case in point right here, you'll see me head over to the Play Store that loads up really quickly. I go ahead and find an application that I really want to install. Then I can pop over to another desktop where I'm going to go ahead and open up a different application and it's all so smooth. And then once that downloaded application is available in my app drawer, I can just go ahead and open that up really easily like that. Jumping in and out of literally everything is just really efficient. This is the kind of speed and smoothness that you would want this kind of, let's say, workflow to have. And there is plenty of flexibility when it comes to apps and accessing services. After all, the first icon down in the taskbar is Chrome. So if the app style isn't really doing it for you, just go over to it browser style. And this can go on for hours. So getting through a whole workday really isn't a problem for the Spin 513. This Chromebook is rated for 10 hours. And while I haven't actually been able to achieve that specific number, uh, it's probably because I have YouTube playing in the background all the time, or I have the screen brightness at max most of the time. But I still have hit at least seven or eight hours on days when emails and scripting are my main objectives. So for those students who are trying to get in that research and write papers, that's a full day with a Chromebook that can easily go from home to classroom to cafe and back again easily because because of the Spin 513's felt design. By the way, constantly throwing it in and out of a bag won't be a problem because this body is like really sturdy and it's actually mil-spec certified. So this thing can take a little bit of a beating and you'll still be able to use it really effectively throughout your workday. The Chromebook Spin 513 made me a fan, or maybe we can say believer in Chromebooks and Chrome OS in general. MediaTek have done a great job of providing the power needed to create what can be described as a premium Chromebook experience, but it's a pretty affordable notebook too. Once I was done with work though, and unlike a student, I don't have uh, any homework, flex, I wondered what kind of extra enjoyment I can get out of the Chromebook Spin 513. I mean, when you're done with all of that work, what would you do next? Turns out, you can do a lot of stuff. Think Android, but bigger. Game streaming made the most sense at first. After all, services like Stadia and Xbox Game Pass streaming were made for laptops like this that may not have the hardware for AAA titles, but they have the connectivity to stream them effectively. And that's exactly what I've been doing, with the only limits being my internet speed at home or in the office. But the Play Store gave me recommendations for games that I've enjoyed on my smartphone, so I thought I'd give those a try. I did opt for games that had controller support, because trying to use the touchscreen controls on this 13.5 inch screen just didn't seem like the most ideal. But Apex Legends Mobile? Well, let's just say I was really impressed at how easily I could do full TDM rounds. Consider for a moment that the Companio 1380 with its Mali GPU doesn't also come with a fan or any cooling systems in here, but Apex was playing just fine after a few rounds and I was having a good time. I did toggle the graphics settings to higher levels, but it didn't seem to do a whole lot, yet the game still looked good and performed at a nice 40 frames, which is enough for enjoyable gameplay. It was at this point that I really had to give the Chromebook Spin 513 and the MediaTek Companio 1380 their props, as this Chromebook checked yet another of many boxes for the workday and then let's say, the distractions sprinkled therein. And so there you have it, a look at the various ways that you could use a Chromebook, specifically the Chromebook Spin 513 by Acer and with the MediaTek Companio 1380 for a full workday and then some. Another shout out and thanks to MediaTek for letting me try out the Acer Chromebook Spin 513 and letting me experience how this laptop, even if it lives in the cloud, can really do a lot while on the go. For more on laptops and notebooks like the Acer Chromebook Spin 513, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Sound off by hitting the like button and by getting into the comment sections down below. With all of that said though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea everybody.